Excellency, Walter Sisulu University Chancellor, Dr. Shila Sisulu, my late Chairperson of Council, Judge Daniel Ophelia Absentia, the Vice Chancellor and Principal of Walter Sisulu University, Professor Bob Mitchell, the JP Vice Chancellor, Professor Mr. Mahono, Walter Sisulu University Council members and Honest, Convocation Executive, the President of SRC's leadership and members of IF, Senate, and leaders of trade unions, distinguished guests, comrades, friends, parents, fellow graduates. It pleased to kindly receive our warm and fraternal greetings from the Convocation and now of Rochester City University. I find great pleasure in my heart to be part of this Rochester City University Jumbo and Merriment, being sent by convex to bring their message of felicity. I am instructed to come and thank the teachers and parents for the sterling work they did to produce this beautiful cream of graduates. Parents, unemployment is life. Pray for these fellow graduates to have wisdom of ceremony in their qualifying. They need to create work than to look for employment. As I look at them, I have no doubt in my mind that they can do it. My mandate to you, fellow teachers, is to tell you not to stop the good work you are doing for our nation and continent. We appreciate your precious time you sacrificed to cover up work which was not finalized due to many predicaments, including the strikes and boycotts due to business fair. Fellow graduates, you are now ambassadors of Water City University and a vocation of Water City University. We expect you, therefore, to be shaped and postured in a certain fashion than we were as your students. We expect you to be highly ethical, professional, and precise. The outside world does not tolerate mistakes. Whatever you do out there, remember, you have the duty to defend the good image of what is in the city. Some of you contributed highly in defending the good name of our alma mater when we were students. And now it's time for all of us to hold hands together and defend the good name of what is in the city. This year was declared as the year of our time, and I therefore remember him when he was addressing the young Zionists in 1979, he said, I quote, The children of any nation are its future. A country, a movement, a person that does not value its youth and children does not deserve its future. I close with it. As I am addressing you, I have no doubt in my mind that you are the future, you are that future president of our town we once talked about. Never disappoint us and your communities. You are our last home and last line of defense. Stay away from corruption, fraud, and money laundering. As you go out to the world, you must know that some of the things our time and we just assume what for are still not yet achieved. Racism is becoming headline in South Africa media that's every day. I remember on the 27th day, January 1987, at Georgetown University, when our town once said, I quote, we seek to create a united democratic and non-national society. We have a vision of South Africa in which black and white shall live together as equals in conditions of peace and prosperity using the power you derive from the discovery of the truth about racism in South Africa. You will help us remake our part of the world in, into a corner of the globe on which all humanity can be proud. We must go to the world and preach peace and love. At this critical time of the ruling World War III, which is likely to be provoked by President Kim Jong-un of North Korea and Donald Trump of USA, let us be agents of truth 
love and peace. The book of St. Paul, writing to Philippians in the Holy Bible, contains some injunctions that capture a number of elements of what I believe constitutes important features. Philippians chapter 4, verse 8 says, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is honorable and true, whatever is just and noble, whatever is pure and lovely, whatever is commendable and admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. The same book in verse 18 says, I have received full payment and have more than enough. I have every supply. Now that I have received from the Epaphrodia Fuditas, the gifts you sent, they are fragrant, offering an acceptable sacrifice pleasing to God. The book of Philippians assumes that you as graduates, you have the human and professional capacity to do as it says, to think about noble, admirable, pure things which are praiseworthy, which will smell unto us a good fragrance to God. Where we are, there will be peace, love, and equality. You are joining now a rich convocation of Wachasis University full of great talent. Great people in the land like Judge President of the Supreme Court, Justice Madisa Maya, Justice Mugisen Madlana, Justice Chris Javda, in the Constitutional Court, Judge President of the Eastern Cape, Judge Benege, Advocate Mingai Chobi, who was also the former President of the SRC in Wachasis University. Former Auditor General Terence Nombembe, the first female black chartered accountant, Nobun Lego Kobodo, political analyst, Professor Somato Jakugeni, Dr. Loaz Ushaba, book writer, political analyst, and lecturer in UCT, Dr. Nyana Mkhatwa, the leading architect on urban design, was produced by this university, Dr. Nyumi Sajilata, Africa's youngest neurosurgeon, advocate for Nordva, the CEO of the National Heritage Council, Ulule Kuswana, one of the leading auditing companies in Pretoria. Then you are going to join those brilliant and very brave convocants produced by Montasas University as you live here. Be, be visible in our black and white blazer that you are dedication in academic and professional gatherings. Let me, then, let me then pass a message of felicity on behalf of the entire plus 30,000 Montasas University graduates in Africa and diaspora and say to you all congratulations. What well, just university is having its own problems like any other institution. And remember, what well, just university is a historical black disadvantaged institution. Thereof, in terms of funding, we still receive the lowest subsidy. We are calling upon you all to make pledges to our convocation account for fundraising. Our infrastructure is dilapidated because it's old and not properly maintained due to lack of finances. Our sporting facilities do not reflect a university. Let us donate at least, even if it's 20 rands per month, which will make difference. I have no doubt in my mind that we will do it. Thanks for Shala Pans. Mandini Pelama I found that nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take a risk. You will fail at some point in your life. Accept it, you will lose. You will be embarrassed and embarrass yourselves. If you don't fail, you are not trying. As you are leaving us and your families to look for better job opportunities, may you go well and God Almighty be with you, guide you, and protect you in all your endeavors. Never forget what just you need Never abandon your parents. SDK Ukai, one of our claimed poet laureate, once wrote in his poem, he said, Mshana shi kaya stetile nani, mshana shi tsa kusalati lekuni, 
Shabbat shalom. 